I'm heading back to the operating room to become the world's probably worst surgeon ever. Let's do this. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Surgeon Simulator VR. Look, I have virtual reality hands. They're beautiful and glorious. It's been a while since we played this game. I actually don't really remember where we left off, but let's see. Okay, so we're working on Bob. That's right. Okay, so we're in the surgery room. We got the heart transplant done. Got a B on that. Not too shabby. Bob's happy about that. Kidney transplant went well. Brain transplant. D is for dynamic. That's, that's what that stands for. So that's great. That's really good. We got to go on to the eye transplant, but first I have to answer the phone. Who is it? Hello? 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 Okay. Well, it must have not been that important. Either way, uh, eye transplant time. This seems like something that I'm perfectly qualified to do. Let's begin the operation, shall, shall we? Oh, this is going to be great. Bob! I've missed you, buddy. Look at that face. That face is just, is beautiful. Snap out of it, buddy. Snap out of it. Your googly eyes are just freaking me out, man. Oh, gosh. Is this how eyeballs are distributed? You just get them out of a prescription bottle? How do I get these goggles off of your head, Bob? Can, can we talk about the... Please, sir. Do I have to cut off the goggles? Whose idea was it to put goggles on the eye transplant person. There's nobody else here. Uh, I guess it was me. <laughs> I think we got to try and get these goggles off first. So maybe I can just, <gasps> sorry, Bob. That's... Sorry, sorry. Your temples are right there. Okay, man. I'm <sighs> okay. This is not working. Wait, are these goggles breaking? I can stick my finger through these goggles. They are breaking. They are absolutely breaking. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. A few moments later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay. You always want a few shards of glass in your operating area when you're working on someone's eyes. That's very important. Am I running out of time? Why is that blinking? There's no time limit on making this man beautiful again. I must have been absent this day in medical school. I don't I don't know how to actually get eyeballs out of someone's head. <laughs> I don't know about this, Bob. Maybe if I just stick a finger in there. Oh, I don't like what's happening when I do that. Maybe a pencil. Pencil seems like the right tool to get an eyeball out, right? It's it's correct size. It's nice and sharp. You just kind of, and he's not going to need them anymore. So uh, let's, oh, I hate this so much. Okay. All right, Bob, just, just bear with me here. I'm just going to, okay. All right. We, the, the angle here is a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. Maybe well, like this, like a dart, like a dart. Bob. Okay. Maybe we need to use some kind of cutting. I don't know. Tweezers. They're called forceps. I wasn't absent that day in medical school. All right. Let's see. Maybe you just jab it right in the eye region. Okay. It's not working. Bob, Bob, please hold your head still, sir. When all else fails, you got to do some cutting. That's the secret. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, Bob, Bob. Just, just give him one of those right there. There, he's saved. Oh God, oh no, 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 no. Oh, what happened to your eye, dude? It's more out than it was before. It's definitely more out than it was before. Maybe if I just kind of like pry it out. <laughs> oh, Bob, don't look at me like that. You look so disappointed in me. I'm gonna do the same thing to your other eye, okay? Do you mind? It's not working. I, I, I've plunged this scalpel fully into this man's head and he's unaffected. Here, Bob, Bob. Oh, oh! Ugh! I have good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Let's go with the bad news. Bob's dead. That's pretty bad news. But the good news is that I got his uh, his right eye out. So <laughs> look at me being a proper surgeon. I have no idea how to get this man's eyeballs out of his head, but I do know that we start with a hammer. We 
got to get these goggles off. Okay, there you go. Just get that hammer out of the way. Beautiful. Chip chop shave, Bob. Let's just get those eyelids open. I always like my patient to stare me in the eyes when I'm plucking out his eyeballs. Okay, so I feel like we were on to something here with this method. We just... Yeah, okay. And then you just... Pluck it out. There you go. Okay, and then you just do the same with the other one. Just avoid plunging it into his brain. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, okay. We've got two protruding eyes. This is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Now, how do... Okay, you know what? Forceps. Forceps. There they are. Dump them out on the table. Okay, we actually have two forceps. That's fine. And then you just do one of these, right? Guy. The oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much, but it has to be done. I'm the doctor. I am the surgeon. Why? 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 And they, they flop around. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. But as everybody knows, when your eyes pop out of your skull, to get them properly disconnected, you just grab some scissors. If you don't have scissors, just grab your pruning shears. That's fine too. Okay. I hate this so much. Okay, the eye's gone. I'm gonna try to catch the other one. Let's see if I can, can I, can I get it? Nope, it's gone, it's gone. Okay, that's a horrifying situation right there. Um, what color eyes do we give good old Bob? Ooh, you want a eight ball, Bob? How about an eight ball for an eye? Everybody loves an eight ball and a happy face. And there you go, looks good to me. Those are perfectly, Functional eyes. Look at that. An A plus plus. Are you kidding me? Eye surgery. It's so easy. It's time to move on to our next operation. Absolutely decimated the eye transplant. Didn't stand a chance against these magical surgical hands. Look at them go. Truly amazing. Next up, it looks like we got some dentistry to do. I didn't realize that I was also a dental surgeon. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. All right, Bob, you're looking beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna have to remove that mask, not the sleeping mask. You can you can keep the sleeping mask on for sure. How do I get this surgical mask off though? Really? You're gonna make me cut off the surgical mask. Of course they are. All right. <laughs> What's the tool for the job today? A spoon. We're gonna scoop out your teeth, don't you worry, buddy. Is this really the way you're supposed to do this? I don't feel like, okay, yep, there you go. Oh, we gotta do the other side, Bob. I'm sorry. Just gonna reach over here. There you go. Just gonna trim, yep, okay. Ah! Close your mouth, Bob. Close your, close it, close it. No, nobody wants to see that. And what's with the weird mustache? When did you get that, huh? I got it yesterday. I grew it just for this surgery. Shh. Shh. Quiet. I'm going to knock out your teeth. Okay. You're the doctor. Why does he have to look like that, though? Like, ah, no. That's not normal, Bob. That's not that's not normal. It stretches. His jaw is so stretchy. I hate it. I hate it. You're a weirdo, Bob. Okay, so I do see the, the bad teeth. You got these two bottom front teeth and then this one. Oof. Disgusting. Okay, so we do have some dental tools here. I always like this one. The, the, like, do you think this really works? You think you can use it as a mirror? I don't, nah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any reflections. Okay, worthless tool. We got some pills. We can give him some, some pills to, to chew on to make, make him, you know, feel a little bit better. Here, I'll help you. You chew those down. Okay, perfect. Great. Yeah, we'll just ignore the fact that they're under your pillow now. Do we have new teeth? Are there replacement teeth? Oh, oh yes. Okay. We've got grinders, which I believe would be the teeth. Ah! No, no, I, oh, oh no, oh no. Bob, don't you worry, buddy. Everything is gonna be perfectly fine. I'm gonna take really good care of you. This is gonna be great. Here's a notepad, take some notes while I'm working on you, buddy. All right. Okay, it appears that I've made a bit of a mess. 
Oh, oh, those are some strong medications. What can I say? Do I, do I do this? Oh, it's get, it's getting better or worse. I actually cannot tell. Maybe I need this one to kind of. Oh, it's so much better. Oh my gosh. What do we need? We need chomp, ch choppers. I think choppers. So these are these in the front. Are those choppers? And then uh, this one up here, is that a terror? The grinders are molars. I don't think we have to take out any molars, as far as I can tell. Either way, I better get to work. Let's grab this very tiny hammer. It's adorable. Also kind of scary. Just gonna get those front ones right there. Oh, look at how accurate I am. How am I gonna get that little one though? That seems like a tricky kind of, maybe, maybe, okay. Okay, you gotta hold your your face. I gotta hold his face still. Okay, I just very. Oh, you okay? We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> that was a little scary. All right, let's grab the choppers. I think that's what we need in the front. Oh my gosh, they're they're so hard to grab. Oh, we got one. We got one. Okay, so this guy goes right there. No, what? What? How do you make it stay? Is there is there glue or something? Do we get dental glue? Is that how it works? Maybe I'm picking the wrong teeth? Here, let's get some of these terrors out. This doesn't feel like the right tooth. It also looks like a sunflower seed. I'm very confused by this. Okay, that's not working. I feel like this is the right tooth for, for this part of- Oh no! What? I- Huh? How did I win? I mean, yeah, he will probably live. It's just that his mouth will never be the same again. I got a C too. I'm not sure how that worked, but I'll take it. Okay, I mean, sure, cool. I I saved Bob's teeth. Kind of, sort of, but not really. So now we have another kind of like set of levels. I guess it's basically all of the same surgeries but this time, inside of a moving ambulance. That seems dangerous. Let's do it. Let's do a heart transplant. Let's see what this is like. Oh gosh, I hear it, but I don't, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, we are in a moving vehicle. The doors are open. Who left the doors open? No, the car is stopping. It's stopping and all my tools are moving. I don't like that. I don't like that. Th this is the new heart. That's the fresh heart. Okay, cool. We'll just set that aside. Okay, just stay there, Bob. Don't go anywhere. Just stop. Dude, who is driving this thing? Okay, we gotta bust open this dude's ribs. I know what to do. I know exactly what needs to be done. Just gotta be nice and delicate. You see how delicate I am with my hammer skills? Many years of surgical practice. What can I say? Is that enough? Have I removed enough ribs? Are there enough bits and pieces of bone in your chest now, Bob? Oh, sorry. We'll come back for that lung later. I mean, what am I supposed to do with these? I just, that's the only place to put them. They're, they're in the snow. They'll stay, they'll stay, they'll stay nice and fresh. It's cool out there. Don't worry, Bob. Don't worry. We'll come back for them. What's this? Do you need this? You don't need that. I'm just gonna set it down right there. I need my tiny scalpel. We gotta get delicate with this thing. This one, I like this one. Okay, all right, here we go. We gotta remove the esophagus. Nice, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Good, good. All right, next one, right there. Come on, there, okay, cool. There's your stomach. I'm gonna put it over there. There's your esophagus. It's gonna go over there. I meant to put it there. That was part of my plan, don't you worry. Okay, uh, this little thing, I don't, is this something that I have to break? I kind of forget. I, I think it is. I'm I'm hitting it with the hammer, and it's not breaking. Maybe with the drill? Nope. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do. Th He's bleeding. He's bleeding. I'm just gonna poke you with that, buddy. All right. He's good. Okay. You know what? Let's just let's just focus on the heart. Let's just focus on cutting the heart out of this man's chest. And once again, it'll stay nice and cool out there. Plus, you don't need it anymore, Bob. It's a bad one. Did I, did I win? I win. I win! Yay! Who keeps putting balloons in my operating area? 
And where the heck did they even come from? You're a real trooper, Bob. Thanks for everything you do. So I don't know what the next set of levels are. Is that outer space? Is that gonna take us to outer space? I didn't even mean to do this. I guess we're, we're playing this level again. But there you go, guys, our triumphant return to Surgeon Simulator VR. Let me know if you guys wanna see more. There's certainly more to do. I'm freaking out though. This, this one is kind of making me feel a little nauseous because we're moving, but we're not really moving. Either way, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Bob. Say, say bye. Don't be rude.